O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens, out of the mouths of babes and of sucklings, as thou ordained strength because of the enemy, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. Greetings and salutations to you all in the blessed and holy name, Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. This is Apostle Donald Purge, one more time from House of Miracles Apostolic Churches International, welcoming you to another edition of Refresh, Refuel, Recharge. That is Refresh, Refuel, Recharge. Pop, pop, pop. Glory to God in the highest. I want to draw your attention real quick to 2 Kings chapter number 6. We're going to do two verses. Verse number 5 and verse number 6. Verse number 5 said, But as one was fell in a bean, the axe head fell into the water. And he cried and said, Alas, master, for it was borrowed. And the man of God said, Where fell it? And he shoot him the place. And he cut down a stick and cast it in the thither, and the iron did swim. My God Almighty. Saints of God, I want to speak to you from the subject using the question that Elisha asked. The subject is, Where fell it? Where fell it? Now, Elijah was the mentor of Elisha. And if you remember the time in which God exposed Elijah to Israel was a time when uh, Ahab and Jezebel had Israel in dark, in dark and gloomy times. When Elisha appeared he spoke to the heavens and the heavens shut up for three and a half years and after that a man he unlocked the heavens but he killed the false prophets and uh, Jezebel sent him a letter he had to run for his life but when he got to Oreb he was complaining there to God that Jezebel killed all the prophets and he was the only one left. But God reminded Elijah that he was not the only one left. For there were 7,000 who have not kissed Baal, amen, or bow before Baal. But he tell Elijah that when you get down, I want you to anoint Jeru, praise God, as king over Israel and Azel as king over Syria. But in your room, in your position to occupy your territory, to walk in the mantle of the anointing that you're in, anoint, amen, Elisha, the son of Shaphat of Bahamahola. Praise God. Now, saints of the Most High God, you know that he put his mantle over Elisha and Elisha kept following, followed him from Gilgal to hallelujah, to Jericho, to Bethel, to Jordan, and then across Jordan. Now, when he got over there, Elijah said to him that, uh, listen to me, ask me now what you desire. He said, I need double of the anointing that you're walking with because I need me something more to handle what's going on out there. You know the story well that, 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 that he got the double, but the double portion was never reserved for a regular person. It is reserved for the firstborn. And Elisha was not even called a prophet or a son of a prophet, but God decided to trust him with his grace. <laughs> Elisha pick up the mantle and got back to Jordan and smoked the waters of Jordan and the sons of the prophet recognized that Eli the anointing of Elijah was on Elisha because he paid the price for the anointing. Uh, you, you already know, saints of God, that everyone that have the Holy Ghost has the anointing because the anointing on the Holy Ghost is inseparable. Praise God. But there are people who have dimensions of anointing. There are people who God use in different dimensions. So God raised 
the bar on your life based on the task that you have to perform in the earth realm. Praise God. And Elisha had a double portion. Now, this situation that we're dealing with here, uh, the, the, the sons of the prophets were saying that the place that they were occupying was too small. And because it was too small, they want to make, they want to get more beam and make it bigger. So while they were felling beam, they were cutting down tree. As you know it, they were cutting down tree. The Bible said they were felling a beam. Hallelujah. The axe head fell in the water. Now, 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 saints of God, the axe head, the first thing that the servant, the servant said, alas, master, it is borrowed. It is borrowed, you know. Hallelujah to God. Uh, I, I want you to take note of it. I don't want to just look at the axe head as just something to cut beam. But the axe head, it represents, it represents a, the cutting edge anointing that the Lord placed upon the church. It's the cutting edge. It's that ability, hallelujah, to break fetters. That, the, the cutting edge. Is the ability to cancel assignment. The cutting edge is the ability to reverse curse. Is the cutting edge is the ability, hey man, to shut down witchcraft spirit, bind satanic sabotage, and cancel assignment. The, it, it, the, it, the cutting edge is, is the ability to lay hands on those who are drug addicted, praise God, and they don't have to go to a rehabilitating center. Hallelujah to God. That, that's the cutting edge. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The cutting edge changes and transforms the atmosphere. Glory to God. No, no, no. When the cutting edge fell, the, the, the servant said well, it, it was borrowed because guess what? The anointing is not yours. It's God's anointing on your life. It was borrowed. And if he asked, where fell it? I want to know where it fell. That's the question today. Where fell it? Where fell what? Where fell the zeal that you once had for ministry? You remember when you could not do nothing more but church? Hallelujah. And if church was kept and you weren't there, you would feel left out. Where felt that zeal? Where felt the love you once had for the choir that you were you will break work, hallelujah, slip off the job to get to rehearsals so you can be ready for choir. We have felt it. We have felt the passion that you had that was so deep for the church of the Lord Jesus Christ that you will go above and beyond the call of duty to be there to serve. Nobody don't have to see you, but you'll always be there. We have felt it. We have felt the true genuine worship that you once had, that nobody have to propel your music or no music. You have a hallelujah, you had a thank you Jesus, you had a glory to God. We are felling. Church of the Most High God, I want to ask the question, brothers and sisters, we have felt the giftings of the Spirit that the Lord placed upon the church. The word of wisdom, the word of knowledge, the faith, the diverse kind of tongues, the miracles, the prophecy. We have felt it, the interpretation of tongues, the faith. We have felt it. We have felt the genuine, honest, Holy living, godly apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers, evangelists, bishops, elders, mis ministers, missionaries. Where fell it? Kato Shanda Mahat. We have felt the love we once had for people and not for people's money. We have felt it. We have felt the passion that we had for backslider that will win the loss at any cost. We have felt it. It dropped in the water and the water represent the world. Hallelujah to God. The world has sucked from us. Hadabaho Shanda Mahat. Give things and the anointing the Lord, the Lord has placed upon us because we have sold ourselves to things of the world. Running down, going after the things which are not of God. And the question today is, we're felling. The world system has enveloped us, take us over, that we criticize everything, we speak down everything, we come against everything that we deal with church, and we are false uh, with every single thing that concerns church. But we are felling. We have felt the love. We have felt the grace. We have felt the anointing. We have felt the power. That was in the church. We are cut asunder. We have felt the power that was in the church. Remember, beloved, we need the axe head. We can't function without the axe head. And I'm asking the question, we are feeling it because if you can point the spot, then a branch will go on it. A stick will go on the water and the iron will swim. You don't hear me. The iron is ready to swim. I just want to find out we are feeling it. Let's find the spot, beloved, so God can be glorified again. We can't operate without the axe head. We're feeling. God bless you. Remember to subscribe, to like, and to share on our YouTube channel.
God bless you. Let's find it. We're failing.